everyone, this is Yolanda from the Ocrest channel and in today's video tutorial I'm going to be demonstrating how to do uh, how to knit the stocking knit stitch. I will be demonstrating both the English style and the con continental style. So here what we're going to do then, I am a continental style knitter, means I hold the yarn in my left hand and I'm always advocating for this style for people who are learning how to knit that perhaps are right-handed crocheters. They already are used to holding the yarn in the left hand and tensioning. Um, or anybody learning to knit because I do believe it gets a little bit faster once you learn how to do it. I'm also going to be trying to show you, uh, will attempt to show you the English style, which is where you hold the yarn on your right hand. Now to do a stock knit stitch, um, there is a right and wrong side to the work. So like here, this is the right side, we're showing all these knit stitches. And then the back is show, it shows the uh, purl stitches. So it just has these little bars going across like little bumps here. So on the straight needles, um, of course, you're going to be turning your work. On a circular needle, you would just be working across. So you would always just do the knit stitch. So there was no need to um, work any purl stitches on circular needles. Okay, so here I'm going to begin first to demonstrate the continental style. So I'll be holding my yarn in my left hand. We're going to be knitting so the yarn has to come from behind the needles just like this. And so for the knitted stitch, you would get your empty needle in your right hand. I'm right-handed, so this is how I'm working. I would insert my needle from left to right, just like this. You'll be able to see it. Then you're going to grab that yarn. When you're learning, you could use your index finger. It's easier if we were closer to the edge of the tips of the needles. Let me see here. Just got a little piece of yarn there. I split that. And this is all you would do is just knit all the way across. And then when we get to the end, you would uh, turn your work over. And so here, let me see, we're almost there to the end. Okay, so here is my last stitch. I'm going to go ahead and just knit that one there. So we have all our stitches there on that needle. I'm going to turn my work around. Let me get a little bit further away so you can see that. And so now on this side, in order to continue that stock and its stitch, now we're going to um, do the opposite. We're going to purl these. So we're going to purl the purl stitches, and when we turn around, we're going to knit the knit stitches. So here, when we're going to purl, then the knit, the yarn needs to come from in front of the needle instead of behind. So here I'm still doing the continental. I would bring that yarn to the front. Let me move some of this yarn there so you don't get confused. And then here, now the yarn is still coming in the front. You're going to insert your needle from right to left, just like this. There's that needle there. And then I'm going to grab that yarn and wrap it around the front, on the top of the needle, and then I slide it off. Once again, the needle goes to the goes to the front. You insert your needle right to left, put the yarn Wrap the yarn around the needle, pull it out, and slide it off. So that is how you would do this stitch. If you like, there is a little gear button on the lower right hand side of the um, video here, and you can slow down the speed or speed it up. So here we're just going to be purling this side. You're wrapping that yarn around the needle, holding it out, and then slipping that stitch off. And this is creating that purl stitch. And this is what you're going to do to the end, or however many stitches you have that you're working a stock and knit stitch in. And then when I turn it around, you will see that the knit, that knit stock and knit stitch has been preserved on the other side. You see how this is all, looks like all purl? When I turn it around now, you're going to see here that it's all nice and Neat. Right here in the English style then, you'd be holding the yarn in your right hand and there's a lot of different ways that people hold the yarn. Some people also just pinch it and pick it up. So you're going to do find whichever way is more comfortable for you. I am not an expert with this style so I'm just letting you know right now. So here then, your yarn, it's, you're going to be working the knit, you're going to knit the knits and purl the purls. So when you're knitting that yarn has to come from behind the needles. You're going to stick your, your uh, needle in the same way from left to right. Now you get the yarn, you wrap it around your stitch, pull it through, and then you slip 
just slide that stitch off once again left to right wrap the yarn around pull it out and then just slip that stitch off go through there wrap the yarn around pull it out and slide it off and so that's the same you you do um, with all your um, knit stitches the stitch comes from the yarn comes from behind the needle you stick in your needle from left to right like this you need to wrap the yarn around and then you could slide it off and you're going to find a stitch uh, style that is more comfortable for you but still we're doing the same stitch there So this is going to be my last stitch here and then you're going to see here that the stitch is the same it's all knit stitches now when you turn the work around you're going to do the same thing we did before now on this side we have all of our purl stitches so now here still holding the yarn in my um, right hand now the yarn has to come in front of the needles so when I stick this yarn up, I need to get that in front of my needles. Put the needle now from right into left, the yarn's in front, and I still need to wrap the yarn around that needle. And then I'm gonna push that needle through, and then I can slide that stitch off. Now the needle, now the yarn is positioned in front. Go from right to left, wrap the yarn around. Oops, let me get that stitch. Wrap the yarn around, pull it out, slide it out. Same thing all the way to the end. Wrap the yarn. And I think that's why it makes it, for me, it seems it's faster when you do the continental because you're not taking time to wrap the yarn. Although there are some people that are uh, English style or that are flickers that are really fast. So um, I think flicking is faster so than just the pure English style. So. You're just going to go all the way across, and we're doing the same thing we did before. We're purling the, knitting the knits, and then we're just purling the pearls. If you want to do this style also, there's people that can just, just hold this and then just pick up the stitch, the yarn with their fingers like this, wrap it around, do the same thing, slide it off, put it in there. Um, so you can see I'm not as fast as way, wrap it around, slide it off, put in your needle, wrap your yarn around, slide it off. And so here, let me turn this around, and you'll be able to see that that produces a really nice stockinette stitch. All those stitches on one side are knit. When you go to the other side, they're all purled. So that is how you would do a stockinette stitch on straight needles. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so and that way you will never miss a new video. Make sure you sign up for notifications. You can click on there and says to get notified when there's a new video. Have a great day and remember always that God loves you.